During that um, presentation webinar, it was uh, aimed at uh, giving people who want to become patient research advocates, so sort of building in their knowledge of drug development, um, a primer sort of on how to think about like what is um, dose optimization in early phase clinical trials, like what happens during those clinical tri trials. And what shifts have we seen in the last, like, especially the last five or so years um, from the regulatory and whether that be um, like FDA EMA or payers um, giving guidance on patient experience data that comes directly from patients. So we went through some of the setup for what is a dose finding study, what are some of the problems with that in the era of targeted therapies and immunotherapy versus back in the day when we had chemotherapies and we were looking more at maximum tolerated doses. And so now that we're sort of pivoting, um, just explaining those clinical trial designs and then explaining where patient experience data fits in and complements the clinician reported data. So, you know, at the moment, a lot of safety, all, all the safety data basically is clinician reported. And where does the patient report fit in? Could it, you know, be more that you assess tolerability versus safety and that those things aren't exactly the same, but they complement each other um, and then how they can get involved. So, um, you know, whether that be through a IRB, because there's always a lay person on IRB and you're able to review study documents through that, um, or if you're on a sort of advisory board for a drug company, you can also sit on those sorts of um, boards and give them feedback at the beginning of their studies. And then we had two patient advocates present where they had actually done sort of work to disrupt areas in um, this dose finding area. So one was a study that patients had carried out in metastatic breast cancer called the Patient Patient Centered Dosing Initiative. And so they explained their research work and some of the tips on how to do research as a patient research advocate, right? Because, you know, you don't know what you don't know. It can be tricky to set up a study if that's not what you've been trained to do. And then um, another patient advocate spoke about his work on working groups where he has been involved in multi-stakeholder groups as a patient research advocate to help think about what tolerability looks like in early phase um, clinical trials and give tips on how to get involved in these working groups and, you know, be able to speak your piece when you're often talking to people who talk in acronyms and things like that.